all right welcome back to the uh, suburban dad channel we are starting a new series uh, because it is time for me to finish my basement and so <clears throat> this is gonna be a lot I think it's gonna be a lot of videos honestly uh, so I've for the last two days I've been basically trying to get this thing prepped cleared out so I'll kind of walk you through what we're doing here. So HVAC is all in this area. This will be one uh, room, its own room. Back here we'll have... Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Hang on. Believe it or not, I actually did think about what I was going to do in the basement before I started building it. So let's go back and look at the planning. Okay, okay, okay. That guy was about to give you the tour of the basement and tell you all the things that he was going to be doing down there uh, like he had never thought it through beforehand, like he'd never uh, made a plan. And uh, that is not what happened. <laughs> uh, this has been a long time coming. It's been a, been a project I've been thinking about for a long time and, and we finally have made the decision that it's time to get, get started. And so... Uh, we're going to get going. But I wanted to show you kind of what my first process was and the, the kind of the thought process that I went through to, to figure out how to do this. So the first thing I did was I went uh, here to the City of Frederick's website. And it's like pretty much every small town's website. It's got a whole bunch of different things. You pay your bills here and things like that. But um, if you go here to Living in Frederick and you go down to I'm Looking To, click on that. And you scroll down and it says, I'd like to finish my basement. And they're gonna give you a step-by-step -step guide on how to do it. And it pulls up this uh, handy-dandy handy building guide. Uh, Colorado chapter of the International Code Council. Apparently that's important. So, so this is the, the single family residential basement finish. And it gives you kind of a, again, it's a step-by-step -step guide on how to do it. So review the building guide. So this, this piece of paperwork here, get some floor plans together and then give them to the city to get your permit to start. So they give here, you can see right here, they give kind of a little diagram of what your plans should look like, you know, family room and unfinished storage and a bedroom and where your hot water heater and your furnace need to be and things like that. And it's, it's kind of a, a guide as to, to what that should look like. And then you scroll down here a little bit and it says, okay, here's what you need to do. Com submit a couple copies, draw a floor plan with dimensions drawn to scale, outlet, smoke alarms, all these things, okay? And then uh, it has some requirements for the, the basement here. And one of the things I wanna point out here is number six. Um, it says floated walls. Here in Colorado, we have to build basements with walls that float. I know that sounds silly, but they're walls that hang from the ceiling. And so I'm, I'm gonna show you here on page three what that means because they, they go into great detail about how you're, how you're supposed to do that. Um, 40 D nails every 24 inches through the bottom plate into the, into the floor plate. This is it. So these hang from the ceiling and they have anywhere from a two to three inch gap uh, here at the bottom and you just have a nail that goes through that uh, that basically makes it so the wall won't move. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna show you that here later in this video as I as I continue the tour in the basement but that's that's one of the things I had to think about when I was when I was thinking about building this this basement out. And then the other thing on here I think is this uh, they give you some dimensions for toilet clearances and shower clearances and door clearances and things like that. So the four page guide, uh, handy thing to have and, and give you a little bit of direction on, on what you should do. So the next thing uh, that I did is I went to our builders uh, website and I downloaded from them. They, they, they finished the basements uh, sometimes 
for a lot of money. <laughs> you can you can spend a lot of money finishing your basement with the builder, but um, I downloaded from them what they uh, what they used or or the, the basically the plan that they used uh, to finish the basement. And this is what they did: is they had a bathroom back here with a storage area. And then a bedroom over here with a closet, HVAC and hot water heater go here. And then this is a big open family room. And I thought that was pretty good. And I, I kind of used that as a basis for what I wanted to do. But then I, I went in and decided to design my own, kind of put my own floor plan together. So I'm going to show you that here. And this is... This is kind of what I decided to do. So I had the bedroom in the same spot. I had the bathroom over here in the same spot and unfinished storage. And so all of this was pretty much the same as what the, what the builder was going to do. Where I changed it is I went over here and I, I wanted to put in a wet bar here with some cabinets and then some more storage here back behind. So in, uh, cut off the family room a little bit so there's a little bit less space here in the family room but we have some more storage over here because we could really we can use the storage so I did that first and this is uh, just so you know this is all in SketchUp uh, I use that to do a lot of the layouts for some of the things that I build and so it it works really well for me but for me to um, for me to be able to submit this to the the city uh, I needed to get more dimensions in here and get a little bit more detail. And so I built another uh, plan. And I'll open that up here. And so this, this was my final plan that I submitted to the city for my, um, for my permit approval. And so I have all the dimensions. You can see over here, we go down here to the bathroom. I've got uh, bathroom and storage. I've got all the dimensions here for that, the width here, um, toilet and, and uh, vanity and shower with uh, lights, that's these circles with the X's, that's where all the lights are, and outlets along the walls, under stair storage here, uh, the bedroom with the closet, and put in where the smoke alarms would go and the, and the carbon monoxide detector. Um, but basically just a little bit more detail as to what what I was going to be building um, or what my plan was to build. So um, you can see my, my um, basement is kind of a, oh, it's a little bit of an odd shape here, but, um, but this was my plan. Uh, so, so anyway, that's, that's what, what I had thought about doing and when I built this, that's what I was planning on doing. And then we'll go back here now to the other guy and let him finish the tour and kind of show you um, in, in the real space, what it is we're going to be building. So I'll kind of walk you through what we're doing here. So HVAC is all in this area. This will be one, uh, room, its own room back here. We'll have some storage. I'm going to put a wet bar in right in here and then some shelving here, uh, with a door on that end to, uh, to get back to the storage. Uh, I, obviously, I still have some kids things to clean up here, but we're going to have to uh, frame all of this and then run electrical and drywall. Um, over here, we'll have a little theater area. Um, probably put a projector up here on this, this beam uh, and project onto that wall. Uh, have to get some blinds for this window so that we don't have the light coming in. And then over here, you can see I still, again, I still have some things to clean up, but uh, this starting right here and running all the way across will be a wall. And then that will be a, a bedroom for my daughter. That's the reason we're doing this is so she has a, a bedroom to herself, which she, ha she has a bedroom to herself now, but she'll have the basement to herself. Um, and then over here, you can see I've already got the rough in plumbing over here. Uh, and this will be the bathroom uh, over here and we'll run a wall down this way and that'll be more more storage back in there I gotta I'll put plastic over that so that it doesn't get all dusty but 
Um, anyway, that's, that's what we're doing. Okay, so after I'd gone through and, and figured out what it was I wanted to build, then I needed to figure out uh, what materials I was going to need to actually build it. And I'm kind of an old school guy. Um, I do it all on paper. <laughs> Uh, and so you can see I, I went through and I measured out all of my my areas and, like, and so in this area I said I need it okay I need two pressure treated boards 15 of the 104 and uh, 5 8 and four 8 footers and that gave me uh, what I needed for that wall I just went through and did that on on all of the walls and and got a total together uh, went through and, and ordered it found the best price I could now right now uh, in 2022 lumber prices are just dumb um, I think the 104 and 5 8 were ten dollars and 48 cents a piece and the eight footers were like 775 it's just it's just ridiculous prices on lumber but we're at the point now where we need to get it done and, and get it finished so I went ahead and ordered it and they brought it on the truck wood was delivered and uh, now we got to start carrying it down to the basement so <sighs> here we go this is the uh, the not as fun part of construction is moving material <laughs> all the treated 2x4s, uh, 10 footers. Now we got to go get the, uh, we're going to start with the 8 footers since they're on top, so go get those. <laughs>
ほう。ああ、that's it。it's all up here。ああ、I'll give you a kind of a view here。so。ten foot treated two by fours。Eight foot regular two by fours and 104 and five eighths two by fours. Let's see, there's 110 of those. There's 68, 62 of those. I'm not sure, I can't remember. 29 of those. Whew. Now comes the hard part.、Uh, <laughs> we got to start.、Uh, Cutting out the drywall down here. So we have a place to right up in here, all the way around the edge. So the eight footers will go in this area, and over here where the ceiling's higher, that's where the 104 and 5 eighths will go. So, all right. Get on to drywall, I guess. All right, so that's the wood delivered and All the planning done, and in the next video, I'll we'll start the framing, and, and that'll probably take a couple videos. I'll I'll kind of walk you through my process and and what I do. When you're a homeowner, <laughs> you are not a professional, and so you you、uh, you do things the way you find them on YouTube and、um, and the way your friends tell you to do them. So.、Uh, <laughs> But we'll plan on sharing、uh, the journey with you, and please let me know what I'm doing wrong because I am by no means a professional. We'll talk to you later. This is when you know you have a good wife because she comes out and cleans up after you. <laughs> This is where the pile used to be. <laughs>